click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends let us discuss now the concept of debtor turnover ratio every business extends credit to its their customers that is common in every type of business at the same time there is a risk of bad debts due to credit sales how your debtors are making payment to you because you are also required to spend some cost on recovery of the amount when credit is given to the debtors some amount gets blocked in debtors so it working capital cost increases whatever loan funds we have taken on work for working capital we are required to pay interest on that that is a finance cost of maintaining the debtors secondly if debtors finally don't make payment it turns into bad debts so that is a another risk of loss if we give credit so debtor turnover ratio is very important ratio for any company to manage its receivables let us understand how it is calculated what are its components how it has to be interpreted debtor turnover ratio this ratio shows the relationship between credit sales and average trade debtors it is expressed as a rate debtor turnover is equal to credit sales divided by account receivables it consists of debtors and bills receivables debtors and bills receivable may be taken at the average of opening and closing amount that is opening debtors plus closing debtors divided by 2 opening bills receivable plus closing bills receivable divided by 2 if the details are not available then closing debtors and closing bills receivable may be taken debtors velocity can be calculated that is debt collection period on an average how much time is taken by debtors to make payment that is called as what debtors collection period debtors velocity means the period that is months or days taken by the debtors for settlement of their bills it shows the number of days for which credit sales remains outstanding debtors plus bills receivable divided by daily credit sales or 12 divided by debtors turnover ratio to get date of collection period in months if 365 days if we take as a you know as a numerator then we can get collection period in days components of the formula are debtors net debtors arising out of sales less bad debts note provision for doubtful debts against which there are no bad debts should not be deducted from the debtors otherwise it would reduce the debtors though no collection has been made bills receivable arising out of sales less bills receivable dishonored credit sales gross credit sales less sales returns or allowances function and purpose debtors turnover ratio is a turnover ratio which shows the relationship between credit sales and debtors its purpose is to calculate the speed with which debtors get settled on an average during the year calculate the debtors velocity to indicate the period of credit allowed to average debtor third judge how efficiently the debtors are managed actual ratio interpretation and comments actual debtors turnover ratio of x indicates that debtors are being turned over x times during the year it shows the number of rounds taken by the credit cycle of debtors during the year a credit cycle of debtor is a part of operating cycle of the concern for example a debtor turnover ratio of 6 indicates that debtors are being turned over 6 times during the year 
it means that credit cycle of debtor makes six rounds during the year it helps to work out the debt collection period that is debtor's velocity in the above example debt collection period will be 12 months divided by debtor's turnover ratio 6 that is 2 months this indicates that it takes 2 months on an average for the debtors to be settled debt collection period indicates the duration of credit cycle of the debtors actual ratio close to standard there is no standard debtor's turnover ratio in absolute terms each concern has to determine its own standard ratio based on its own past ratios of credit policy or ratio of other concern in same industry. A debtor's turnover ratio close to such company standard shows efficient management of receivables. Actual ratio higher than the standard. A debtor's turnover ratio higher than the concern standard ratio shows a low credit period allowed by the concern to the debtors. It indicates that debts are being collected at a fast speed during the year. Debt collection period is short. A fast credit cycle that is operating cycle. Amount of credit given by concern to its customer is less. So less funds are blocked up in debtors and working capital and there are less chances of bad debts. Actual ratio lower than the standard. A debtor's turnover ratio lower than the concern standard ratio shows a long credit period allowed by the concern to its customers. It indicates that debt are being collected at a slow speed during the year. Debt collection period is long, that is, slow credit cycles or operating cycle. Amount of credit given by the concern to its customer is more. So more funds are blocked in debtors and working capital. There are more chances of bad debts. Let us understand debtors turnover ratio with some suitable example. From the following information, calculate debtors turnover ratio collection period of debtors. Net credit sales 7,30,000. Net debtors 75,000, net bills receivable 25,000. We have net credit sales 730,000, net debtors 75,000, net bills receivable 25,000. Debtors turnover ratio is equal to debtors turnover ratio is equal to credit sales divided by debtors plus bills receivable. Seven lakh thirty thousand divided by one lakh. It is seven point three times. Average debt collection period is equal to 12 months divided by debtor's turnover ratio. We can get average collection period on monthly basis. 12 divided by 7.3, it comes to 1.64 months. It means on an average, debtors are collected within a period of 1.64 months. In this video, we have learned the concept of Data's collection period, data's turnover ratio. Thanks for watching this video. Stay in tune with Ikeda 
एंड सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल इकेडा थैंक यू